Hi Dixons, I'm Ralph Mohammed, Senior Vice Principal at Dixons Trinity Academy, where I am today. Thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to our channel, like, comment and share using the hashtag Dixons Open Source. At Dixons Trinity and at some of our other academies, we create a run the day document for each day of the academy week, which ensures a successful and smooth operational running of the day. On this document you will see how we plan for how different parts of the day will be staffed and who will support each part. This includes who will support morning meetings for different year groups, transitions between lessons in key locations, the end of the day session which leads into dismissal, which we call afternoon meetings. Some sections are already pre-populated and are fixed, unless there is a staff absence. Other sections like morning meeting and afternoon meetings are completed in the SLT daily check-in so that we are responsive to what is happening that week. There will be a future episode on how we implement this run the day document in our daily SLT check-ins. We use the run the day document to ensure key locations are staffed as students arrive in the morning, at breaks, during family dining and at dismissal. This is vital for the safety of our students, to build strong relationships and to create the culture we want. We assign leaders to the different morning meeting locations to support hoys. Morning meetings are how students start the day in our collective space with their year group. Please see our episode on morning meetings. We also assign staff to deliver staff practice or morning briefing. During the split breaks and lunches, which we call family dining, we make sure that all areas are staffed. These areas include the heart space, yard and the glamorous toilet duties. At the end of the day, we decide who will run the different afternoon meetings. Afternoon meetings are used to give key messages and to allow our students to reflect on their successes and their next steps. They also allow us to stagger the dismissal of the year groups so that we have a safe and orderly exit as we only have one set of doors the students leave through. We have three separate locations and a member of SLT runs this with support from staff and hoids. We also make sure there is an SLT presence on the street outside of the building to support students upon their exit from the academy. The staffing for supporting the afternoon meetings and dismissal aren't pre-populated as things change from week to week and it also gives staff the opportunity to rotate duties and locations so that we can build relationships with students. This is something which is decided upon in the SLT daily check-in. Our corridors are at their best when we are all either on our doors or on the corridor for the duration of each transition. If staff are teaching, they are on their doors dismissing and receiving students. In some cases, staff will be escorting their classes to or from their room to a central location. There are certain locations on each floor and on the staircases which we make sure lead as staff during each transition. These transition duties are assigned at the beginning of the year. I cross-reference the timetable of SLT, HOIS and HODS to create a transition duty timetable, which is included in the Running the Day document. Although it is pre-populated when we run the day in our daily SLT check-in, we let each other know if we are unable to make a certain duty so that it can be covered. We have the highest expectations on our corridors. Staff who have been assigned a transition point between lessons are then able to positively narrate our expectations on the corridor which can help support our children to meet this high bar and to maximise every minute by ensuring a speedy transition. If a child coming down from science on the third floor, for example, can hear a member of SLT communicating expectations on the second floor staircase, they're more likely to get it right as they know someone is on the corridor monitoring them. In an upcoming episode, we will look at how we implement the Run the Day document in our daily SLT check-in. I hope you have found this video useful don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. I look forward to seeing you soon.